Hi guys, my name is Hina and I'm back with another bookish video. Today I'm going to share the 12 books that I bought in my latest book haul. Right after my birthday, I came across an amazing local book fair and I thought of just checking it out. I actually wasn't planning to buy any books, but then I ended up buying 13 books. Uh, six of them are hardbacks and they are uh, rare and vintage edition books. And the rest of them are paperbacks. So let's begin. The first book, uh, now I'm going to begin with the hardbacks and then we're going to look into the paperbacks. So the first book that I bought is John O'Farrell's An Utterly Impartial History of Britain or 2000 Years of Upper Class Idiots in Charge. No offense to any Britisher. But this is the book. I, obviously, I was captivated by the title and also because it's a pretty vintage hardback edition. So I really like it. I don't think there are any illustrations. No, there are no illustrations in this. But it says it's an impartial history of Britain. So I like reading about Britain. So... That's why I got this book. So this is the first book. The second book that I bought is Your Pregnancy Bible by consulting editor Dr. Anne Deans. This is just something that I picked up because it was in hard back and it has a lot of pictures and it covers a lot of good stuff about pregnancy. So any one who is pregnant or anyone who knows anyone who's pregnant i think this book would make for a perfect gift so this is the second book that i got the third book that i got is pretty awesome and its name is wine by hugh johnson uh again it's a, a hardback and it does have some uh, illustrations and it also has some uh, uh, updated vintage charts so this book is going to be pretty interesting it is all about choosing buying decanting serving and enjoying wine so i'm really looking forward to reading this one again the name is wine by hugh shawns so this is the third book the next book is a literary book it is the life and times of goethe and it is by paul hamlin this book Mostly because I read a lot about Goethe in my Modern Masterpieces of World Literature, uh, the course that I did from Harvard University. And they had a pretty big section on Goethe. That's why I wanted to uh, check out this book. Also, this I got this book only for 300 bucks, which is pretty good. And again, it's hardback and it is illustrated. So it's pretty good. The next book is Great Mysteries, Mysteries of the Past. Uh, this book is by Stuart Holroyd and David Lambert. And it has very interesting topics such as the puzzle of the pyramids, the pyramids explored, secrets of the standing stones, three mysterious kings, clues in the cuneiform, Babylon or Babel, uh, the martyrs of Masada, secrets of the seabed, who really discovered America? Bodies in the peat box, the mysterious mountains, King Arthur, man or myth, who was Prestigeon, and a world of mysteries. So this is a pretty interesting book and it is completely illustrated and it has some amazing photographs of people and places and whatever mysteries they talk about. So I'm really interested in this book, especially since I have read a lot of literature on uh, the pyramids of Egypt uh, in the past two years. So I'm really interested in knowing more about the pyramids, uh, but also about the discovery of America and such. So the next book that I got is... Color Library Book of Great British Writers, an illustrated companion to the lives and works of the most celebrated English language novelists. Uh, this is the book. This is uh, pretty much the biggest book that I got and I only got it for 700 bucks. It's like a steal. Obviously, it is. it, it should have been more than 2.5k, obviously, 
but uh, in such kind of sales and uh, fairs you always find gems like this and that is what makes it so worth it going through the entire collection that they have and finding books like this so i'm really looking forward to reading this one so these are the hardcover uh books that i got from the book fair now uh coming on to the other books that is the paperback books i have seven of these but they are mostly fiction only because i'm planning to start reading fiction again but i've also uh, gotten a book on poetry this year for my birthday so i'll be reading those as well anyway so these are mostly fiction uh australian classics now this is a pretty good book and it is not actually paperback it's just leather bound i guess yes so australian classics 50 great writers and their celebrated works by jane gleason white this is one book that i'm really looking forward to and i'll be reading this book for the world fiction month at rmfao because in world fiction we read books from around the world and uh, books of uh, authors from different parts of the world so this one uh, would be a perfect fit for that genre challenge month the next book is project hail mary by andy veer everyone knows this book and i've been planning to read this one i think this one was released uh last to last year if i'm not wrong because last year everyone was kind of reading this book so i'm really looking forward to reading this i haven't read any other book by andy veer not even the martian uh though i'm planning to read it now thankfully they are not in any sequential order so i'm gonna first read this and then go for martian if i like this the next book is guilty wives by james patterson and david ellis this one seemed like a very intriguing mystery and I've been away from mysteries far too long. And I'm not talking about just thrillers, I'm talking about hardcore mysteries. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one by James Patterson because he's one of the best mystery writers. The next one is Wild by Cheryl Strayed. I've watched this movie uh featuring reese with a spoon i watched it mostly because of her but i love the story and i'm really looking forward to read the book as well uh the next one is a pretty cool book half minute horrors very small stories very big scares now this book may seem like a very ordinary book but you won't believe when i'll tell you the names of the featured authors in this anthology Neil Gaiman, James Patterson, Lemony Snicket, Cassandra Clare, Holly Black, and many others. So these are just one or two page horror stories, uh, as the name suggests, half minute horrors, but these are pretty good. I read the first story by Lemony Snicket and it's pretty creepy. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to reading and finishing the entire book. The next one is a classic, The Time Traveler's Wife uh, by Audrey Nethnigger. This, I have had this book on my to read list for the longest time and I still haven't been able to read the book. I have not even watched the movie. So, so I'm planning to read this for science fiction month. Uh, that is January uh, at RMFAO and also along with uh, project hail mary by andy veer so these two books are for that rest of them i've got an audiobook format so i'll be sharing those later the last book of my book haul is the partner by john grisham it has been years since i last read any book by john grisham there was a time when i used to read a lot of his books uh, but it has been almost eight to nine years since I read his book last. So I'm really looking forward to it. So I had to pick it up, obviously, and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. So these are all the books that I got in my latest book haul. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you got some ideas for uh, buying some books for yourself or maybe getting them from the library or borrowing them from someone. I will hopefully be able to make videos of the reviews of these books uh if i'll do i'll definitely be linking them to this video so 
thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you all in my next video till then bye and happy new year